You are watching Ubuntu Boot Camp Part 7. In this episode, we're going to customize Unity, and all that learning begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, let's begin. Alright, first, what we're going to do is, we're going to see what kind of customizations we can do without installing anything. And normally when you customize, you'll right click on your uh, desktop, maybe select change desktop background. So, let's go ahead and see what kind of options this gives us here. Alright, it looks like we can go and change themes from here. And really, not very many options. Of course, we were able to change to Radiance, which I think is too light colored for me. And then, of course, the high contrast themes as well. But really, <laughs> yuck. So I guess we'll just stick with Ambience for right now. We can also change the launcher icon sizes. And you can see that made the icons in Unity a little bit smaller. That'll also give us some more real estate on the desktop. And then, hmm, let's pick out a different wallpaper. That looks kind of cool. And it looks like Unity matched itself according to the main color and the wallpaper as well. Not too shabby. And then we can auto-hide the launcher. Better turn that off. Because <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get that back. But then again, probably hitting the super button or something like that. Ugh. Okay. But... We have more tweaks that we can do with this. Let's go ahead and open up the terminal. And let's type in this command. sudo apt-get install my unity. Okay, now that that's finished downloading, let's have a little bit of fun with it, shall we? Okay, now we have a lot of really cool options that we can do to this. Alright, um... Got a transparency slider here, which will make Unity appear as opaque or as transparent as we want. Probably not tr quite transparent enough. I think I'll leave it on its default setting. Okay. For backlights, active icons on. Hey, now I like this. Icons off. Only icons edge. I like the active icons on idea. Okay, and then we have different options here. The fade and slide, fade only, slide only. I think I'm going to leave that one alone. Who 
Okay, and then you can show mo mounted devices either always, never, uh, that sort of thing. All right, let's see what dash options we have. Okay, so we can display available apps, display recent apps, blurring. Yeah, smart and then the size. Ooh, nice. So we can um, adjust this based on um, Let's choose netbook just to see what that one does. Okay, and that fills the whole screen. Okay, yeah, I really don't want the dash to fill the whole screen on me there. Alright. We've got panel options here now. Ah, that looks cool. We can uh, make that uh, transparent. That looks cool. Okay, and then from here we can choose which icons we want to have, and personally, I don't like having icons on my desktop, so I actually hmm, will skip this part, but if you want to have icons, you can. And then, of course, this gives you your desktop options, how many you have, two uh, horizontal and two vertical. That's normal for me, and I'm happy with that, so I'm cool with that. Change fonts here. Ah, and now we have more options in terms of theming. Ugh, that one's ugly. Starting to make this look like, uh, um, <laughs> XFCE. Ugh. Of course, then again, XFCE looks pretty cool, too, uh, if you get the right GTK themes for it. All right, and then we get credits so that we can find out who made this unofficial Unity configurator. If it's unofficial, what's it doing in the Ubuntu repositories in the first place? We're going to configure lenses in the next episode. I'm out of here.